What's going on guys, I'm Brandon Swank. I'm gonna cut the intro just cause this is a more serious video, okay? Cause I see this all the time and it pisses me off and I'm just gonna share my experience and how I've been able to create, you know, financial success, some people might say. Um, and what I'll see a lot of people doing wrong and I've never personally fallen a victim to this because just based on who I am as a person, um, I'm a little ignorant and I'll explain that here in a second. But a lot of people just, learn, 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 and consume, consume, consume. And I'm specifically talking content, okay? So now if you're anyone trying to you know, change their life financially, spiritually, uh, relationship-wise, whatever that may be, I'm here to tell you to stop fucking consuming content every single day and not actually doing any output or producing anything, okay? Because you have to have a balance. Fortune favors those who are well calibrated. Shout out to Ty Lopez for that one. Uh, but if you're not balanced and you don't have a balance of consumption and production and you're just doing a lot of consumption, you're never going to change your life because you're producing nothing. Now, if you want to make a million dollars, you're going to have to do things that will make a million dollars, period, the end. There's no other way around it. So you have to produce a certain level of things and a certain level of output to get to where you want to be. Okay. Now, if you're just consuming, 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 you're going to be a smart broke person, which I'm assuming that's not what you want, okay? If you just wanna be super intellectual, then go down that route, go to college, just learn, 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 and never earn. That's, that's fine, you can do that. But a lot of you mix consumption up with production. If you're actually wanting to create financial success, it's a production game, okay? It's a production game we're playing. It's not just consume content. And a lot of people are satisfied with just getting on YouTube and watching content on making money and they feel fulfilled with themselves. They feel like they're getting closer to their goals. What in the hell is going on? Like what's happening with you just watching a video? It's not making you money. Go out and take some fucking sales calls. All right, go out and do some, some marketing. Go actually implement what you learn. Okay, now here's the balance, okay? Learn, then implement, and then start to earn. That's what you gotta do. Learn, implement, earn. Period the end. If you just learn too much, you're not gonna implement, you're not gonna earn, okay? Now, there's, there's another side to this. If you're only implementing and you're not learning, then you're gonna be stuck at, a, at an earning threshold because you're missing the things you need to learn in order to get to the next level. So that's where you gotta meet in the middle and do a little bit of both. Now, I was more on the just do it side of things and I was stagnant for a while until I started learning more and getting out of where I was stuck at because I started learning. Now, most people aren't just take action and just do it and then learn as you go, which that's honestly the better route. Most people are like, learn, 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 and then they never produce so they never earn because they never implement, okay? You need to do learn and earn by implementing, okay? That's what you gotta do. You have to have a balance of both, okay? Now, sometimes there's, a whole week or a whole month that you'll spend just learning. That's fine. It, I don't care how you do your schedule. If you wanna have a, a consumption month and then another month where it's production, that's fine. Or you could literally do it to where you do five hours a day on, on production, three hours a day on consumption, whatever you wanna do. Or just the full week is production the, and then the next week is full um, consumption. I don't care how you do it. It just depends on who you are as a person. You can run with whichever one you like. Okay? Me personally, I like to balance throughout my day, but I also do months to months where I'll go more in on, on consumption or production. Okay? So right now, I'm in a month of production, of doing. Okay? Um, uh, last month, I was more consumption. I was learning a lot more. Okay? Now, that doesn't mean I don't learn every day. I'm still learning 30 minutes to an hour a day, at least right now. But like last month, it would have been even more, and it would have been like two, three, four hours a day and less production. So that makes sense. So you can have a balance throughout your day, or you can have a balance throughout your month, or you could even do a balance throughout your year. I haven't really done a full year of consumption and then a full year of production, but I know a lot of you watching this video right now, consuming right now, probably could have consumed a lot for the last year and maybe not produced a lot. Okay, so maybe it's time to switch it up and start producing. Now, you're also gonna get stuck uh, and, and what you should do because when you consume, 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 you're looking at all these other people online, oh, make money this way, make money that way. In reality, I mean, I can't say it's for literally everything, but I think everything works, okay? Everything will make you money and get you to your goals because 
For example, the guy who founded KFC, all right? This guy was just good at making chicken. That was his skill set. Now, he, he was a millionaire just because he knew how to make some chicken. He just became exceptionally well at one thing and scaled that up. You can be good at anything. You can do anything and become successful, okay? Just, just stick with it. That's the main thing. People don't stick with things. They'll start something and then they'll have shiny object syndrome where this guy over here made 10K a month. Oh, dang, I'm struggling over here to even make three. I'm going to run to that one. And then guess what? They go try that shit and it doesn't work either. And then they see something else and then they go run to that one. And the point I'm trying to make with that is there's money everywhere. If you're not making money, you're the problem. It's not what you're trying to do to make money with. Whoever made this freaking table right here made millions of dollars, I'm sure because they made this damn table. Whoever painted the damn walls, I'm sure makes has a million dollar, whatever. Paint walls, okay? So I want you to understand that it's a mindset thing. It's not what you're doing. You can do anything and make money with it if you stick with it, okay? Now that's probably not true for everything, but I'd say majority of things in life, okay? It just comes down to, are you gonna quit? Because if you don't quit, you're not gonna lose. You can only lose if you quit, okay? Anyways, um, yeah, just don't quit. Figure out what you like doing. And another thing I would say is a lot of people are like, what do I do? Because they're trying all, like, they're looking at all these different things and they're getting shiny optic syndrome. I would do what you've wanted to do since you were a kid or the first thing you tried when you turned 18 and started trying to make money. Stick with the first thing because for me, for example, as a, in my early days of high school, I said I wanted to build an app. I'm building an app right now. I have a, I have a, web, a web software right now, okay? Um, I always used to say, I wanna have the biggest sales team in the world. We're growing a huge sales team, okay? We've trained over a thousand sales reps at this point, okay? Paying non-paid, but like, we're growing, okay? Um, I used to wanna write books. I, I used to write books as a kid. Now I'm building courses, okay? Now a lot of people have negative connotation like, oh, course selling gurus, okay? Not even com compared to what we do at X Closer. Go check out the offer if you really wanna see a course is just 1 20th of it because the whole purpose of this video as well, like my last video, production and consumption, is you gotta actually do to make money. It's not just consuming. And so we have that philosophy at our, our training academy and so the course is just one really small piece of it. The rest of it is actually selling and getting a real experience because that's where the money's at and that's what most people want. So why, why waste their time on super long courses? That's just stupid, okay? Um, but anyways, take action, stick with what you've always wanted to do and just do it at a higher level. So for example, I used to write cartoon books on, on pieces of paper. Now I'm building courses that thousands of people are using and it's video, it's text, it's documents, it's more developed, okay? I'll probably write a book in the future, okay? I wanted to build an app, I'm building an app, okay? I was good with graphic design, now we have a whole brand, okay? It's just like doing what you've always done on a higher level, okay? I used to do sales as a kid. I used to sell bracelets at recess. We did like 100 bucks a day selling the kids at recess, and when they didn't have money, they gave me the financial objection, I'd tell them to go home, ask their parents for lunch money, meet me back the next day, buy the bracelets. Now, I didn't make the bracelets, I had a partner, my friend, who would build the bracelets, and then I'd be the sales rep and go sell, and then we'd just split the profit. That is a business right there, okay? And like, just do what you've already been doing, and I don't wanna go super in depth in this, but Ty Lopez talks about people don't change. I think that's true. Like, don't try to change yourself, okay? You got genetics, you got, you got a, a, a path that you're already naturally going toward, just run with it. Don't try to think you need to do all these other things. Those are other people's journeys. Stick with whatever you've wanted to do for your entire life and just do it, that's it. And keep in mind, I wanna say this again, think more abundantly. The smallest skill that you have or the smallest thing that you think can be big. Like I said, KFC. The dude only knew how to make fucking chicken. Now it's KFC, okay? That, like just, just to show you the scale of things. Like you can, always, you can always grow anything, you can always make anything work, you just have to be the person that makes it work, okay? And that's, that's in the self-development, all that jazz, but. All right, like, subscribe, you know the vibes, I'm out, let's get it. Short intro, short outro, let's go.